Brian, so you're un unloaded Barnsley, how have you found it? You've been here a few weeks now. Uh, yeah, it's good. Like I said, I've been here uh, two weeks. Um, they've got a really good setup here. All the all the all the guys are really nice. All the staffs are nice in the stadiums. The stadiums are really nice as well, so it's good. And you've got a couple of weeks left um, on loan from Fulham. Um, have you given any thought to to continue on? Obviously, you've you made your league debut last weekend. Um, you know, played 82 minutes in a in a pretty good win for the club, 3-1 over Bradford. Yeah, I mean, uh, right now I just want to get back to playing games and. Because that's what that's what young players like Mead need right now is just to just to keep on playing games wherever it may be. Obviously, I want to play for Fulham eventually. I mean, if it's not now, then I'll I'll bide my time and try and play as many games as I can here, and then uh, go back a lot more experienced. Can you tell us a bit about your, your time in England? You came over in 2011 as a as a teenager from um, from Perth from East of Yeah, I mean, uh, part of the reason why I came over here was because because of Reese. I didn't. I only really started to get into football when I was like 13 or 14 and then I saw Reese and uh, Reese was doing really well, he had a nice car and stuff like that so I thought oh yeah I'll, uh, I'll, uh, I'll have a bit of this and uh, so I came over and had a trial at Portsmouth and it went well and ended up moving over here. And you, when you made your, your debut for Portsmouth in the championship it actually was against your brother and um, he scored a goal so it would have been obviously memorable to, to make your debut against your brother in the UK. Yeah I mean it was... It was it was quite strange because I've been to the Riverside that many times to watch him, but to be on the pitch and uh, be playing against him is it was quite surreal. And I, I, I'm friends with quite a lot of the Middlesbrough boys as well, obviously from Reese being there. So it was it's quite funny actually. And you you went back to Fulham, obviously they're in the Premier League. You, you've been out on loan and you had a great uh, loan last season at Oxford United. Yeah, well, I mean, Ox Oxford wanted me to go back there, but I said to him I need to need to progress and I feel like I can play at a much higher, much higher level. So that's what I'm doing this season, trying to hopefully tick off League One and go to Championship and then hopefully tick off Championship <coughs> and uh, go to the Premier League. But I mean, for now, it's just try, and, just try and get as many games as I can here. And you had a couple of games under, under Felix Smith at, at Fulham this season, before coming out alone and, and before he was sacked, obviously. How was it at, at, at Fulham this season? Obviously a tough period for, for the club. Yeah, it was tough. I don't think uh, many of the players were too keen on him. I myself, I I, I liked him, and uh, he was he was playing me. So I mean, for this, so I thought, well, I don't really want to wait around to see what's going to happen. Uh, I'd rather go out and do it myself. So I came to Barnsley to to play games. And you've been playing, um, you know, a fair bit on the wings and and also in the hole. I mean, have you got a preference? You prefer the number ten role? I mean, I think I enjoy it a little bit more because you probably get on the ball a little bit more and get to get to run straight down the middle and probably get more more chances to score than what you would do out wide. But I'm happy to play either. I haven't played out wide for a while. I mean, when I, when I was at Fulham, the, the the manager was playing playing me centre mid and centre defensive mid. So I mean, it's just good for my education. And um, just joining you at Fulham this season, been Adam Taggart. I mean, how's that been? Obviously, one of your good mates. Um, you grew up with him in, in Perth. Yeah, it's been good. It's been. Uh, I think I've helped him settle in, and uh, he's also. Uh, yeah, we've uh, moved in together, and it's, uh, we're both really enjoying it. How hard's it been for Adam? I mean, obviously he's come from the World Cup playing against Spain, and then you know getting that injury and hasn't been able to, to get back in the park yet. So it must be. It must have been hard for him. Yeah, it's been tough as well, obviously because I, I I'd been playing at the time, so he'd been. Uh, he'd, he'd he'd come and watch, and obviously, and it's obviously it's, it's obviously harder when you come and watch your mates play and. You know that you should be that, but you're out through injury, so obviously it's, it's going to be hard for him. But no, he's uh, he's dealing with it really well. And um, just talking about injuries, obviously your brother has also had a you know a really hard period, uh, missing the World Cup, and he's going to miss the Asian Cup as well. How's he travelling along? Yeah, to to be honest with you, I think he's been really unlucky through his whole career with injuries. Yep. When there's been, I think he, he missed the South, South African World Cup as well through injury. He's missed this World Cup. He's going to miss the Asian Cup. I mean, he's just not really getting any luck but he's been through it all before he's had a lot of injuries so he sort of <coughs> he knows that he can't he, he can't do anything about it but try and but try and get fit so he's coping with it really well just on your family i mean uh you come from a, a bit of a, a footballing family i mean your dad's a, a coach in uh in myanmar at the moment yeah he's been i think he's been in myanmar for two years he was in <coughs> he was in indonesia for about six i think six six or seven so no he's uh he's he's really enjoying it out there and your twin brother Aaron's um, was at Burnley. He's back playing in WA. But just just on Reese, I mean, how much has he been an inspiration for, for you and your career? I mean, he's 
already achieved so much and he's only, you know, 25, 26. It was, he was part of the reason why I've, <clears throat> I chose to come over here, sort of like uh, paved the way, I guess, for us. He, uh, any, anything I need, any advice or anything, he's always there. So, I mean, he's, uh, he's, he's been a real big brother to me, I guess, so it's been good. And just on, um, on playing for Australia, you, you've got a lot of experience with the young Socceroos, I think 10 or 13 caps, um, obviously over at that age limit now. Is the, the soccer is that is that a goal for you? Yeah, of course. I mean, any 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 young Australian will tell you that they want to play for the soccer is. <clears throat> and I think now if we're really trying to really trying to get up there by uh, coming here, and hopefully if I play well, then you never know I could be in with a shout for the Asian Cup. I mean, that's obviously what I want to do. Whether that's realistic to other people or not, is uh, I don't I don't really <laughs> I don't really mind if it's unrealistic to them. But for me, I think it's quite. Quite realistic. I know I haven't played with the Socceroos yet, but if I play well here, then I don't see why not. There's a lot of players from League One and uh, a lot of young players around the, the globe getting the chance now with the Socceroos under the new manager. That's, you know, that must be encouraging for you that he's you know, he's willing to blood players and, and give them opportunity on the international stage. Exactly. That. <coughs> so that's uh, that's that's part of the reason why I'm not why I feel like there is a really good chance that I could uh, play in the Socceroos uh, soon. So. I mean, it's just good to see that he's using the younger players that are playing in not as high as league as some other players, and it just gives me confidence.